Oh, good to see you. They like me. They really like me. Oh, that's right. Looking good. World Wide Web. I'm the one they dance for, baby. Apex Predator! You're looking uptown tonight, Sharky. What's the occasion? Well, I'm glad you asked, Milo. Today just happens to be my birthday. Out of sight, man. Happy birthday, Sharky. Well, thank you, Milo. I had a pretty good uh, day, I guess. Uh, you know, I'm a recent transplant and all, so I haven't met a lot of people, haven't really been out and about, so I took a little trip down to the Strip and uh, circled a couple buffets a few times before finally settling on a group of sandwich. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't really um, uh, salty enough for my taste. You know what I mean? Oh, no. You didn't like it, huh? No. Uh, but, you know, the price was pretty good, but that's uh, Vegas, huh? Vegas, man. I remember back in the day, all the cats were in full meow. It was happening. Until ammonia came on the scene. Okay, Milo, thank you for the uh, retrospect there. That ammonia, man, it'll get you. <laughs> it's Ask the Shark. I'm the Shark. And uh, what we do here on Ask the Shark, we answer your questions about aquariums and ATM products once a week. And uh, it's about that time for the question of the week. This week's question comes from Robert Schialino in Kenmore, New York. All right, this is what he wants to know. I'm moving my two 75-gallon fancy goldfish tanks. Do you know if ATM Colony is safe for live plants and works with reverse osmosis water? All right, we get a lot of questions like this here at ATM about Colony and aquarium cycling, and uh, we have people uh, writing to us saying, uh, uh, you can't put fish in there, you can't do that, you can't do this, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, we can, and we do. Okay, uh, to answer your question, Robert, the only things not safe with ATM Colony is ammonia and nitrite. Okay, now onto the other issue about RO water. Check this out, Robert. A uh, little atmosphere here, please, Milo. No problem, Sharky. Seems today, if you're researching nitrifying bacteria, you'll get volumes of scientific documents, overcomplicated explanations, videos with a bunch of stiffs and lab coats walking around, staring through microscopes, basically all stuff trying to intimidate you into thinking they know what you never will. But it doesn't really mean anything in your house now, does it, Robert? At ATM, we're aquarium cycling pros, and we don't have a single lab coat. That's right. Listen to the shock. Nitrifying bacteria are livestock. Far less complex than the ones you deal with every day. The fish. Bacteria's not hard. Treat them like a fish. Mind the water parameters. Get them a food source. Now, RO water? Colony will work about as well as any other nitrifying bacteria in RO water. Not at all. So, Make sure you hook up that RO water to where it has water parameters right for nitrifying bacteria. Okay, get them a food source and they'll be happy. Cycling with Colony is easy as pie. Look, if these two wise guys can figure it out, anyone can. Oh, and scene. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The 11 o'clock show is completely different from the 10 o'clock show. Okay, Robert, we're going to send you out an autographed photo of Wade King and Brett Raymer and everybody from ATM. Uh, if you want to be on Ask the Shark, you got a question for the shark, that's me, get over to AcrylicTankManufacturing.com. You can leave a uh, audio question there, or even a video question, or just a traditional email if you like, or call 855-B-L-U-S-H-R-K. Well, that about does it. It's Ask the Shark. I'm the Shark, reminding you that it's my birthday. It's time to party. We'll see you next week.